Some people do not pay enough attention to their surroundings. Same goes for Pokemon battles. Hey Pokemon trainers, I am Angel, and today we are doing something a little different to shiny hunting. I'll be teaching you how to farm rare items such as evolution stones in Pokemon X and Y, even after you've found them through set items. The way is through the Pokemon battle scenery and the use of some special TMs. Without further ado, let's get started. To find Thunder, Fire, Leaf, Water, Float, and Hard Stones through this method, you need to use the various caves or routes listed such as Connecting Cave, Sea Spirit's Den, Terminus Cave, Route 9, 13, and 18 to find sharp rocks in the background of battles. There are two types. The one shown gives you the evolutionary stones, while the second type, which is only found in caves and dungeons, will give you the float or hard stone. Use moves such as Hyper Voice or Rock Slide on the opponent to damage the rock which will leave you with a random stone in the aftermath of the battle. To find a Never Melt Ice or a Snowball with this method, you need to use either Route 17 or the outside of the Frost Carbon to redeem your item. If you are after the Snowball, this is in fact the only method to obtain the Snowball in the game. The Snowball is a once-time item which is to be held by a Pokemon during battle. If it is hit by an Ice-type move, your Pokemon will consume the item and increase its attack one stage. To find the Snowball, you need to use Hyper Voice or Rock Slide on the Snow Pile in the scenery of battles. The battle right now depicts the Snow Pile. If you are after the Never Melt Ice, which increases Ice-type moves power by 20% if held by a Pokemon, you will need to use either Hyper Voice or Rock Slide on the Ice Crystal, which is depicted in the second battle shown in the video. To find a heat rock with this method, you need to initiate a battle at the following routes. Route 8's clifftop, Route 9, Route 13, the east of Route 18, or the east of Route 19. Make sure you have a Pokemon with the move eruption, heat wave, or lava pume to heat up and explode the sandstone in the scenery. When the heat rock is held by a Pokemon, if the holder uses the move sunny day, the weather effect lasts 8 turns as opposed to 5. Apart from this method, the only way to obtain this item is in the absolute south of Terminus Cave with the use of Rock Smash, but only once. To find an ice, damp, or smooth rock with this method, you need access to Connecting Cave, Sea Spirit's Den, Terminus Cave, Victory Road Cave, or the Unknown Dungeon to find a thin rock. I have only found the damp rock with this method, but Serebii's post did state you can find the other two types. For the video, I will only go into detail about the damp rock. When the damp rock is held by a Pokemon, if the holder uses the move Rain Dance, the weather effect lasts 8 turns as opposed to 5. Use the moves Muddy Water, Surf, or Water Spout to topple over the stalagmite to reveal the rock. Berries are found in all different locations. I will not go through all of them, but I will list the berries found by tree colour. Blue tree, Oran, Koba, Yashi and Pasho berries. Green tree, Agave, Babiri, Kiba, Lum, Rost, Rindu and Tanger berries. Pink tree, Pesha, Persian and mango berries. Purple tree, Chester, Colba, Cassip, Papaya and Wiki berries. Red tree, Cherry, Choppel, Figgy, Heaven, Leper and Ocha berries.
Yellow Tree, Aspir, Chati, Chillin, Ayapapa, Shaka, Citrus and Wacom Berries. Use Air Cutter, Blizzard or Twister on the desired tree to obtain one of these berries. To find a power, mental or white herb, use one of the locations listed to find some tall grass behind the enemy Pokemon. Use a move such as Petal Blizzard or Razor Leaf to slice those leaves in half and obtain a rare herb. The grass took a while to obtain and I presume it is because of the rarity of the herbs. The Luminous Moss is the only item to be found in the mossy rocks in Glittering Cave. They don't occur often due to the rarity of the item. This is the only way to obtain the moss, but this is what it does. If the holder is hit by a water type attack, the holder's special defense stat is increased. One stage. The moss is consumed, so you can only use it once. Use either Hyper Voice or Rock Slide on the mossy rocks to obtain your very own Luminous Moss. Finally, to obtain Stardust or Soft Sand, you need to go to the sandy areas and beaches such as Route 8 or Silage City. Another rare wild battle scenery to encounter, the Sand Pile will give you one of the two items if you use the moves Hyper Voice or Rock Slide. Stardust is a valuable item you can sell at any Pokemart for a thousand Pokies, and the Soft Sand is an item to be held. Any ground type move used by the holder has its power increased by 20%. Hope you enjoyed the content and learnt from this video. If you would like a specific tutorial from me, leave it in the comments down below. If this video was informative, please leave a rating. For now, take care and good luck shiny hunting.